Sunday the 29th of October, day 10 of my Australian daily vlogs. Today I'm off to go and film my full video and review on the BMW XM because it goes back to BMW Australia tomorrow and I pick up something else. Today's weather is pretty much spot on for filming. If anything, maybe a bit too sunny. It's 21 degrees and it's not quite 10 o'clock yet. This time last week, well, the MotoGP race had to be called off because it was so windy and so wet. As mentioned, I will be doing a living with video uh, that I'm filming today on the XM, uh, but a quick reflection on my time with this over the past nine days. Well, it's been a great car to cruise around in, it really has. It's been super comfortable, super easy. I wish I had the chance to have plugged it in and utilised the electric energy a bit more. And as you hopefully might have seen in yesterday's vlog, the younger generations absolutely love it and they actually made me appreciate the car more. Sometimes you get a little bit, not numb, but I'm very fortunate that I get to drive a lot of awesome cars. Uh, I'm going to focus on driving because uh, there's a lot going on this morning. It's Sunday, so like everywhere in the world, you get Sunday drivers out and about. Always got to be extra cautious. So I will speak to you a little bit later. I've just stopped off at Heelsville. I'm going to head in there and grab a quick coffee. I was up editing till about half past two this morning, so I'm feeling a little bit tired today. I am behind schedule as well, but I need a coffee because otherwise my productivity will start going down the drain. What does it taste like? Very good. If I was in the UK, that'd be a 10, because I'm in Australia, probably an eight and a half. Yum. This stretch of road was recommended to me by a few people, including Nick. It looks like a great stretch of road. It's an 80, which is 50 miles an hour. And to be fair, through these twisty sections, uh, you couldn't really be going much quicker especially in something as big as the XM. I'm gonna set up my camera and get some drive-bys done first. So when I jump in the car a bit later, probably after a bite to eat at lunch, I should be able to say what I wanna to say to camera without 50,000 takes. Suddenly it's got really busy. Look how tall these trees are. They're unbelievable. <laughs> wow. I found a nice little lay-by to do my intro in with a typically Australian bush background, although I am constantly on the lookout for any snakes and spiders. Although I'm sure anyone from Melbourne that's watching this is probably laughing right now, including my brother and Rani. Intro and interior done. It's always a relief once you've got those out of the way because then you can focus on the in-car. But before that, I'm actually heading literally down the road to have lunch with Nick from BMW Australia. Right, lunch has been served. I'm here with the legend Nick from BMW Australia. How are you guys? Now I need to go and set up the cameras in-car to do the main bit of the video. I am gonna go and check out a road that leads to Lake Mountain because apparently that's really good. So I need to go and figure out where I'm going to do the in-car piece, get the camera set up. But first I'm going to sit here for a second and let the aircon cool the cabin down because it's currently 25 degrees outside. Feels a lot warmer than that. It's a bit windy out here. So hopefully you can hear me, but I'm literally 10 minutes up the road to Lake Mountain. And look at this. 
incredible. And this bit of road is 100 kilometers per hour, which is a 62 mile an hour limit. I always had this perception of Victoria not being a great driver's state, but even out here on a beautiful sunny Sunday, it's relatively quiet if you venture out this far. And the road is amazing. Okay, there's a few potholes around, but nothing worse than back home in the UK. But what a spot and what beautiful views and scenery. This is wonderful, really, really cool. Fast forward a couple of hours and my filming on the XM is done. It's always a bit of a relief when I finish a video or a film. I put a bit too much pressure on myself leading up to the in-car piece. Sometimes it flows and I get it done in 20, 25 minutes. Sometimes it takes nearly an hour. And today was one of those days. I think just because I'm very tired, I was up until about two o'clock this morning editing. I just wasn't stringing sentences together that well. But this road and the surrounding roads, I've been up to Lake Mountain, are just amazing. And yeah, it might be fast approaching 6 p.m. on a Sunday, but as you can see, okay, there's a car or something coming now. It's just been so quiet. There's no cyclists, there's no cars, there's one motorbike doing laps going up and down like me. It's just amazing. It's really, really impressive. And what a beautiful, beautiful evening. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get any better. Uh, I just thought I'd show you quickly uh, with my cameras. So whenever I film a video, most of the time I run four GoPros when I'm doing the in-car piece. So I'll usually run one on the outside of the car, looking down the car. I'll run one on the bonnet, looking through the windscreen. And then I will run two on the interior of the car. But obviously it's not the way to do it. It's not a set way to do it. It's just the way that I've done it. You can definitely get away with running two GoPros if you're starting out with YouTube or even three is more than enough. Uh, but I like to run four consecutively and then sync them all up. So I've got one there um, with an external road mic on it. And we got the forward facing one there. This goes back tomorrow. Let's get back to the hotel and maybe find some food on the way back. Although I'm not that hungry because I ate lunch about 3 p.m. So I don't know, let's figure it out. I need to put the camera gear away anyway. So I'm gonna switch this off and I'll see you a bit later. Hi, what can I get for you? Hey buddy, um, could I have a chicken meal, a large one? Just with a Coke? Yes, please. I resisted, it's almost eight o'clock and I figured grabbing a McDonald's, well, if there's a time to do it, it is tonight. It's been a long day. Thank you, thank you very much, cheers. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I caught you. So Lou is currently behind this camera, but she refuses to be on the camera because it is morning there and she's in bed. Um, she's got clothes on, obviously. Um, but uh, anyway, back to my food. <laughs> uh, I've got a McChicken sandwich. You probably know this because you watched me order it. Anyway, this is more for you, Lou. I've got a McChicken sandwich. Uh, I've got a Coke, which I'm going to try and not drink all of. And I've got large chips. And I have to say, not that I'm a McDonald's connoisseur, but the chips do taste better than the ones at home. They taste fresher, less soggy. I think this is probably a good time to sign off on the vlog, but you stay there, Lou, okay? Because I'm going to come back to you in a second. Because the light's going, I'm still half an hour from the hotel, and when I get there, I'm going to spend a lot of time editing. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. No idea how it actually turned out. I just remember turning the camera on a few times and that's kind of the way this trip's been so far. So uh, yeah, thanks as always for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow where I do have plans, but they're not finalized. Um, anyway, I'm going because Lou is waiting so patiently in the corner down there. 
Bye. I've finished my McDonald's and I'm feeling a bit stuffed. The reason I'm back is because I just started the car and Lou said that she could see the ceiling changing colour. So watch this. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa, that's pretty funky. Goodbye.